is happening. Oh my God, Magnusites. Sheesh. Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. I'm gonna do the best that I can with this because I am brand new pretty much to this series. Let me explain. Some of you know that I started Game of Thrones. I got through a few episodes and I, I really liked it, but I got hemmed up with other stuff, so I just never went back to it. Um, a few of the episodes are on Patreon right now. I'll be moving them to uh, YouTube memberships also, and I will do the whole Game of Thrones series. But I heard that this was coming out, and this was a prequel series. So I'm like, okay, well, if it was a prequel series, it wouldn't be too bad to at least watch this first season before jumping on that and finishing that. So came into this bare bones, not really remembering much about... Game of Thrones. I know there were dragons in it. I know it was a gory series. And my God, is it gory. I think gory seems to get people's attention a lot. Just just gore and sex. As long as you got gore and sex, it's going to be popular. You know what I mean? You got to have good writing too. You know what I mean? But like, look at the boys. Gore and sex. Great writing. And it's a hit. Gore and sex, great writing. And this is a hit. I enjoyed myself a lot. Um, something about how the storytelling is done in this hooked me. Just like I was hooked when I first saw the first episode of Game of Thrones. So there's that. Um, you guys know the source material more than I do, so I don't know if it's woke or not. You know what I mean? Um, just because it has a female lead or... Or woman is the um, the focus of the show or movie does not mean it's a woke you know thing. So I don't know, but it revolves around a king and his daughter. See, a lot of you know, y'all know. Like I'm sitting here talking like, yeah, I'm talking like I haven't seen it. King and his daughter being uh, his only heir at the time. He uh, his wife though the queen is pregnant, and he could just feel it that. Um, it's going to be a son. By the way, all spoilers are in here, so I'm going to talk about details and stuff like that. So, I mean, God damn, when you get down to it, you know, a lot of women back in that day, even though this is, you know, fantasy, died of in childbirth. And I cannot believe, man, that scene was so hard to watch. First of all, him having to make the decision of what to do to get cause, and I said like you'll see in my reaction on Patreon or YouTube memberships was everyone you prefer you'll see how I was like did they know Caesarian back then and the I guess whoever he was the religious guy or whatever he said to the king you know um you know there's a method that you know because they said they tried turning the baby and I guess the baby just wasn't coming out and you know you can choose we, the blood loss could kill her, but we can save the baby. And the emotion on his face. By the way, the king looks like Bret Hart. Bret Hart's got gray, long, stringy hair now. He looks like Bret Hart. Look, in a several, several scenes, I'm like, oh my God, it's Bret Hart. I am the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Anyway, so... God, that was gut-wrenching to watch them cut that baby out of her and hold her down like that. And she had no choice in the matter. He wanted to... It was kind of like, she's going to die anyway. So I need my heir. What do I... You know what I mean? It's that choice to make. That's fucking... That's incredible. Meanwhile, his barbaric, sadistic, psychopath brother, of course... That's next in line if he doesn't have a boy. Uh, really likes to uh, strike fear into... Oh, God. If you see the thumbnail for my Patreon and YouTube memberships reaction is that scene. Horrific. 
They go into town to get all of the criminals. I, I assume these people have already been served to justice at some point, but he's like, nah, we need to really take care of this. So since you were a thief, a thief you have stolen before, you have are, are worded before, we're going to take what you used to do that with. So they're out there chopping off hands. People are getting beheaded, taking limbs off. They held this dude, and I swear, I heard him fart first. Like, he was so scared that he farted. I'm like, oh my God. I said, did he just, in my head, I'm like, did he just fart? He's about to shit himself because he's so scared. And guess, yes, they cut his dick off. And put it on like a wood stump to show people. Oh, you can hear them sawing off and the meat tearing. I was like, this is so fucking sick. But I can't look away. <sighs> what do I talk about after that? That Oh, the jousting scene. The jousting scene was the best jousting scene that I think that I've ever seen in my life. That I've ever seen. Okay, maybe you a bunch of you have watched a bunch of King Arthur movies and you've seen better. But the, the it's the impact and the way they would circle around and get the next one. His bro his brother is such a piece of shit. <laughs> such a piece of shit. And you could tell, I was like, this dude right here's the villain. As soon as I saw him, he's the villain. Right there. He's the villain, he's the villain, he's the villain. The king, he seems like he's pretty much a good guy trying to do the right thing. So, um, knowing how sadistic and fucked up and not ready that his brother is, he doesn't make him the king and he, he makes his daughter, you know, he knights his daughter in succession or whatever, officially makes his daughter the one that will, you know. And meanwhile, oh yeah, I think he, he kick his brother out. I can't remember if he kicked him out or he did something with him where he's not fucking with him no more because he tried to step to him and the guards was like, easy, motherfucker. Easy. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> he tried to step to him. To, he tried to step to the king. I forgot what it was. What, what did he do that pissed him off so much? I can't remember. I watched it last night. Usually I do my reviews of series a show or movie immediately after I get home from the movies or right after I watch it so that my mind's fresh. But um, I'm going to assume that people that like the, the Game of Thrones series, even though I heard the last season was horrible, um, I, I'm assuming they're going to like this. Just from what I'm like, if I'm a new, well, see, then there's a difference there too. But I, I'm a newcomer and I like it. But it is a prequel, so it's not after. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're watching The Last of Us Part Two, you know, where it's like you've, you've seen before, <laughs> you know, and you're coming in and then you hate it. Now it's different. It's a prequel. So I definitely watch a prequel to The Last of Us. You got what I'm saying? You see how Joel lived and Ellie lived before the whole pandemic happened and stuff like that. So um, I'm. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this um, five out of five, five out of five woos for this episode. I I've really enjoyed it. I was intrigued, even though with the, just like with the boys, I don't need the gore. I don't. I I I don't really understand what people get out of so much gore. I don't need the gore, the shock value, but um, I guess it's a great argument that it works. It helps to keep people riveted and watching. So. Um, I liked the storytelling. I liked the way it shot. I liked the way it looked. You know, their hair kind of looked like wigs. You know, it didn't look really real other than that. But, um, you know, the dragons were pretty cool. Something's going to happen, man, because his brother was talking to that dragon. I feel like he's going he's gonna to rain on the fucking parade. And at the end of the episode, it showed, like, a uh, whole thing where, they're, you know, the cast is talking about it. And the guy playing the brother, that's the villain, was like, hey, he's not a bad guy. He really does care. And I'm like, I'm like sitting there like, you're right. <laughs> you're fucking right. So, 
Uh, yeah, get over, you know, whichever you prefer. I prefer you subscribe to Patreon, but if you want to subscribe over here on YouTube memberships, that's totally fine too. That's why I set it up. So you didn't have to set up a second membership to do anything, you know what I mean? Just boop, and you're good to go. Five out of five, Tyro Magnus likes it. So I'm going to continue this every week. And also, I think, I think I may start watching WWE Wrestling again. I may get Peacock and start watching the episodes and uh, putting them on Patreon and YouTube membership also. So um, not AEW right now, UWWE. So don't, you know, beg me because it's not going to happen until I feel like it. So for now, WWE. Um, I got to figure some things out, but we'll, we'll see. If you see a post on Community Time, you know I started watching it again. All right? 10 million subscribers. Woo.